How's it going people? Liam Caddison here and we're reacting to Legends of Tomorrow with episode number eight, I believe, of season five as it makes its return. Uh, of course, due to the coronavirus, um, it had to take a bit of a pause. Um, and I believe we might be getting the full season five. Don't quote me on that. Uh, I say this because they uh, Legends fil uh, finished filming in around... February time and uh, they finish a bit earlier than the rest of the CW shows uh, do so they've got all of their filming material but of course they still need to edit it and um, production has taken a bit of a pause due to the virus so uh, don't quote me on that because I think we still got half of the season left to go through um, but um, yeah this is Legends of Tomorrow we had a very very um, sad episode as Ray and Nora departed from the Ray, uh, from the wave rider this is great i'm not going to be able to speak today um and yeah we still got to pick up with the looms of fate of course with astra so i'm really excited for the remainder of this season this is legends of tomorrow episode number eight of season five let's go six quid don't be cheap <laughs> apparently she did not like that price thing Cheapskate. Is this one of the, like, sisters? Did she just turn supersonic or whatever? Oh god, no, oh god, Beaver. <laughs> Wait, are we screaming ah. because it's weird or because it's awesome? This is a nightmare. How did I even get in your room? You slept walked into Dr. Hayward's room at approximately 2.30 a.m. I tried to wake looks you, like, but you assaulted looks me like the original repeating snooze. Sorry oh, hey, is um, cool. kicking in. This, okay? If you enjoyed it, but if you are walking at all, you didn't enjoy it enough. Gross, Charlie. <laughs> hey, B, uh, me and Z did not do, you know, no. that nasty. This is a judgment free zone. That's I'm not reference. one to shame the sexual activity of two consenting adults. Shame's a good thing. Keeps you from hooking up with someone and ending up the parent of a 16 year old daughter. Oh, wow. uh, oh God. Uh, naughty business have I stumbled across then? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Supernatural? Oh, looks like Supernatural filming here. Super what? <laughs> you never seen it? It's the show. I mean, to be fair, I haven't either. So. I wonder if the Winchester I'm getting to it. Here. Seriously, Dean's my whole pass. I spun up the threads of each life. Old Lakesis, she measured out how long each life got to be, and then oh. after pass, she. So Death. she killed everyone. So she had the. She bloody loved it. She she yeah, seemingly. She is the you before. Well, you you now. Okay, let's just get something straight. There's only one Zari Tarazi. I find. Yeah, there is. But this means you were a legend. Time has wibbly wobbly your mind. You were probably our computer expert. And the air totem responded to you. You two probably shared it. Wonder, Wonder twins. <laughs> And we probably had a really super yeah. cute couple name just off the top of my head. In exchange for some information. Really? Yeah. Mr. Rory's helped us bring in some of history's most dangerous criminals. What? I... Okay, well, well the hours she's over. not wrong. Right. <laughs> wow. Uh, from the Victorian England time. Collection. Collection at Pottery Barn. I don't know much about Victorian England. Oh, God. England, but... Really There's already fun. a few friends references that I'm loving. Right. Oh, oh, first two. Do you believe in the tooth fairy? Because she does exist. <laughs> Jesus. I feel like the tooth fairy has, you know, cheapened out on me. Oh. They got women to vote. They invented punk rock. Introduced mass genocide, nuclear bombs, pollution. Yeah, nothing's gonna be. Humanity's not after perfect. All you did to help them. How did they thank you? They're locking they you in. They probably prison. add Corona to the mix now. 
We would never let anyone hurt you like that, little sister. <laughs> oh, oh, shh. I was going to say, Sarah against a god, though. I like this. Yeah. And before that's like the real John. Wait. Who? Oh. Talking to donuts now? Alasta, hey, listen to me. No one is responsible for the family they are born into. All that matters is who they decide to be. And you've decided to be brave and big hearted. You can choose your own family at the end of the day. I am who I am. And the big birthday parties, you know? I think it's time that you go back in there and do what we should have done from the beginning. Go back and kick myself in the No. No. <laughs> Just go tell her you're sorry. Hmm. Sometimes Guess sorry makes right. all the difference. No shortcut. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. So why are you even asking me about Behrad? I thought this was about me and the strange visions I've been having. Wow. New me came out shockingly self-absorbed. Who are you calling <laughs> a new you? Who even are you? Well... I'm you, you. but better. <laughs> Boy. Yes. I got it! Damn it! There we go! Charlie! Sarah, no! We're going for round two? Oh, oh no! No, 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 no! Sarah! I like the madness. Sarah sometimes, was sometimes a little madness is I'm all it feet. takes. I'm a legend. Which is a better side to line. Which makes you nothing. You'll never find the other pieces. You just jinxed yourself, didn't you? Sarah, get up, please. Sarah, get up. So, um, how are, uh, and you, you actually seem like a lot of fun. I'm good with that. It's one of those better pills to swallow, isn't it? Because they could be anywhere out here. Sarah! You're not a hero Sarah! anymore in your perspective, but you know your family's alive, which is. Oh, Sarah, yes! Of course you weren't never gonna oh, die. Did. Me too. Usually I would be into, but she's giving off a super I want to kill you in the worst possible way. <laughs> oh my god, that must be Charlie's sister listening to wake up. That is a perfect show. description. Oh, hey, look, come quick. John, like... Oh my god. I think he's dead. <laughs> nope. Oh, don't count me out so soon, I'm so... <laughs> Two out of three. You know what? I'm having deja vu. Berard! No! Oh shit, no! You don't belong here. Oh shit, Berard! No! No more defying fate. No, 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 no! You are a bitch, I hate you! this ship alive. You saw my true form and survived. What are you? Your worst nightmare. The gal who's gonna chop a god's head off! Come on! Oh, Charlie, come on, Charlie! 
Yes! Up yours! Yeah, I was gonna say, did they get the hand with the rings? Not bad. Where at? Charlie's sisters, I hate them. Especially the... <sighs> this situation just got a hell of a lot more dicey. I can handle dicey. I can handle whatever it takes to save my brother. And until you bring him back, I am with you every minute of every damn day. She's sorry. Ooh. You know, I can't really blame Zari for putting this all on John. Um because he was the one that was foaming at the mouth to try and get the second piece. Um especially like just moments after Charlie found out that um her crew were wiped out by uh Atropus, um, and, uh, yeah, like, he, he kind of, he kind of fucked it up, didn't he? So, um, yeah, and, and he's gonna have to take some kind of consequences, um, through his actions, and, yeah, you can't blame Zari, because whilst Berard died being a hero, because he was not going to give up, he was not gonna ha say, you know what, Atropos, have the ring. I'll I'll still survive. He he died fighting. Even though he died fighting, this was all sparked because of um John's fixation on not just getting the uh getting the second ring, but it's an effort to try and um, speed up his his deal with um with Astra. So Johnny boy, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny boy. Ay, ay, ay. But, um, I gotta say, I think that was my favourite, uh, probably one of my favourite Legends episodes this season. It was just so, like, it was so tense with uh, Atropos. And I think she makes for a very, like, she makes for a fascinating villain in the sense that you can actually, like, that you hate her um for the right reasons and she's just so intriguing and so powerful and she has a really big aspect in the entire universe like she i think she was the one that kind of controlled death um like we found out a lot about the sisters regarding the fact that charlie basically controlled the time aspect of of life and um the other sister was uh the bringer of life it's it, it sounded like um and Atropos was was death basically, um and it and I liked the aspect that they saw humanity basically as lesser that they basically viewed them as a disease because Charlie listed out all the pros that basically humanity has gone through and uh, she was basically listing well yeah but let's focus on the negatives because why not but yeah I thought Atropos was a very very tantalizing villain so. Yeah, and she even, well, tried to kill Sarah. How Sarah survived remains to be seen, because John, he explained how he survived. But Sarah, like, even Atropos had, like, a nanny moment uh, at her survival, so... um, How did she survive? I'm, I'm wondering, like... I'm wondering if, like, her body is kind of, like not complex, like, in terms of the fact that Sarah has been resurrected by the Lazarus Pit, um, and she's gone through all of, of this, like, all of this change that it's not as simple to kill her as it would be any other human, so, that, I wouldn't, I'm not saying that Sarah's immortal, but, like, it's not as simple as, as, um, killing her compared to other humans, so, yeah, but um, 
I had a feeling that she was not going to die like that. Like she just basically got whammied as if she just got pulse waved back or whatever. Um, but of course we know from um, what she did in 1977 that her exposing her true form, big no, no. Um, so yeah, that was obviously um, like couldn't it close in terms of Sarah, but she did manage to kill Berard. So, oh yeah, that broke my heart. And I'm gonna miss Berard because I think Berard was was a very very uh, interesting character, and it really breaks your heart because she's lost. Uh, Zari has lost her brother. Like Zari won lost her brother. Yeah, I I will say Tala did a f like. Tala is a very very amazing actress. Like she's one of the I think she's um one of the best actresses in the Arrowverse in terms of like actors and whatnot. Like she she does such a fantastic job, not just with the portrayal. And I like that touch. I think everyone disappearing was like Zari feeling like she was alone. Like uh, like she was uh, like she felt alone now that Berard's gone but um yeah so I think that was a nice touch but I gotta say Tala not just in grief but like how she uh in interacted with her original incarnation I guess it was just so great because you could you she she's able to portray different mannerisms and attitudes that the that there's like it, it's like she's an actual different character so, um, yeah, she does such a fantastic job, and I believe she's one of the best actresses in the Arrowverse, just with how amazing and um, tantalizing her uh, acting is. So, yeah. Um, but I do feel so bad for her. And my heart, like, I didn't think we... And, and it sucks, because we, we've just lost Ray and Nora. Like, not in the death sense, but... We, it, it was still emotional seeing them like seeing Ray depart. And now we've lost, we've lost Berard. So, and it's, it's heartbreaking because, well, a Zari's like this new incarnation of Zari can resonate to how the original Zari kind of felt like she doesn't know because uh, the original Zari basically kept it hush hush. Um, but we know, and I think Berad was a, a a lovable member of the team. So I do, I do want to see him back. But I think this is uh, this does also establish how, uh, like this does establish the threat that these gods do have, that they're not playing games. Like, they, they established that in the beginning, I felt, but, like, they took one of our own to basically establish their authority, so. But I think the, um, I, 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 I loved the interactions with Zari and Berard, um, because it does fit on, uh, with the theme of this episode, which was about family ties, um, uh, because we had a bit of Mick as well, trying to, um, make amends for his daughter for not being there. Um, so they basically took advantage of um of what they had. Like you can use a time machine to fix your mistakes, yay! Although it wasn't as simple as that as we found out. Um, and I really liked some of the moments, like um, her dressing up uh, as uh, like the daughter dressing up as Captain Cold. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I I think uh the family theme had a very strong tie into this episode with not just Mick trying to be there for his daughter on crucial events um but also with Charlie and uh, Atropos as well because you can see the difference between them two and like whereas whereas like they are family like I, I think by blood it's it's the simple message that sometimes you know blood doesn't dictate family and uh, it's it's clear here with their differences with how um, she doesn't value the oppression basically that they like to inflict on on humanity. Um, they like they don't 
they don't really give a toss uh, about their freedom. Uh, they just crave in their own power. And Charlie has been more. Charlie is more humanized. Um, so yeah, but um, I really liked the Fiba family as well. Like I said, Zari and Berad, like as Berad was helping her try to click in, like try to get her to encounter her original self. And I really liked um seeing Zari one again, um because she, like I said, there was the the tremendous acting. But also the difference between Zari 1 and Zari 2. I'll call that for the sake of brevity. Um, and you saw Zari 1 have a quick evaluation about how, I guess, a bit obnoxious her Zari 2 self is. But you got to also see how um, Zari 1 was very, very selfless. Like, A, she didn't really comment about the fact, yeah, my brother's dead, in, like, in my perspective, so I'm happy that he's alive in your perspective. But also about the fact that she values everyone else's lives over her own heroic duty. She has more value about Berad being alive for this Zari than her being a hero. So I really love how selfless she was there, but it was a very powerful episode. Uh, I, I feel like a, a few Supernatural fans are not going to be too happy with uh, this episode. Uh, no, I'm, uh, it'll be fine. I'm, I'm sure they'll appreciate the references. There was a few, like, Friends references as well. And I, I'm sure there was a Metal Gear reference, but I'm sure the reference of Played Like a Damn Fiddle is now looser. I don't know. But for me, it originated with Metal Gear. Um... But yeah, um, there was a nice supernatural thing. I'll get to it at some point. I, I know there's going to be a bunch of people who are going to be like, you should check out Supernatural. I'm getting on it one day. I will be getting onto it. So it's 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 on my to-do list. I've got a bunch of shows to get through, um, but it will happen one day, I'm sure. Um, but um, yeah, it was a very, very... Crushing episode. Um, I'm sure there's gonna be like I'm I'm sure I, I have a feeling that Berard's demise is gonna have long term ramifications possibly on Constantine. Uh, because this was like on his own like this was him trying to hurry up the whole process with Astra as well. And Zari said uh, Zari basically had this is on you. Um uh, this the yeah this was on you mantra on on john so yeah um which you can't blame her for the uh, for the sake that john uh, was like i said he was foaming at the mouth to try and get to the second piece um as well as the fact that zari's going through grief and and she's just lost her brother her like some would say her world so um you you can't blame her for going through such a hard time and you know, put uh, throwing John under the train there. So yeah, but um, that was Legends, and uh, what a return episode that was. Like I said, I think it's one of my favorites this season with just how tense it was, and how heartbreaking it became, how um, opposing the villain was. It was just really good stuff. So yeah, but I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check the videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction, hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!